So when did you guys realize that? So you know she's a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, so now the camera's coming over here. I'm nosy to, and I'm getting up now. Yeah. This how I'm, now when did you fame? <laughs> Put the lights on him now. So you know she's a motherfucker. How did you realize that you had a crossover appeal? Like when I ain't know I had a crossover appeal. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. No, I didn't know I had a crossover pill, but I know I know motherfuckers from different walks of life feel my shit. Like I go to like we go to Europe, go to motherfucking England, you know, we go we go to like foreign ass places and they, they love my shit. I'm talking about sand on the ground, no fucking uh -huh. beats, dirt roads and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfuckers can't speak English. They know your shit. Something is good out of that, you know what I mean? Now I noticed with you guys, you did something that a lot of people didn't do. I kind of got into the, the rock kind of thing. Oh. Early. Yeah. Early. Early. That's when I first met y'all. Uh -huh. you know, that's when I first was introduced to y'all and dance. I came in there wearing some cologne and he put me on the spot. This nigga smell good and shit. <laughs> this nigga come in here smelling all good and shit. So we, we laughed about it. That's why I put the cologne on today and said, nigga, I smell good today. <laughs> No. But it, seems, it, it, it definitely seems like y'all got a lot of love out there. Thank you, brother. You know what I'm saying? I've definitely been a fan of the music and, and, and always want to see it happen for y'all bigger than it has. Oh, now, one you, thing, they, of course, of course, you told me I was nosy as a motherfucker. Now you want to thank you. <laughs> Damn, you, give, you give a nigga a compliment, now you want to thank you, man. You're a nosy ass nigga. <laughs> now I'm going to be a nosy ass nigga for the rest of the interview. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so you nosy as a motherfucker. <laughs> one of the things that people might want to know about is your, your transformation. At one point, it was Rockefeller, correct? Right. And then it went to G Unit. Can you tell me a little bit about, you know, the, the time y'all spent there and then went to G Unit and now you're back here? Can, can oh, you right. elaborate on a little bit? Rockefeller was, was sweet. Because we was happy for you. We yeah. was like, okay, it's going, it's going. Yo, you know what? And, and I appreciate, we appreciate all the love that we got from the fans. I'm talking about, dude, it was like. The whole time we were signing Rockefeller, the shit was like just one big ass parade, dude. Like mm. I could go anywhere in the city and niggas be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's cool. Um, unfortunately, uh, the situation with with Dame and Jay wasn't what we thought it was. Okay. And I'm not sure what it was. Okay. <laughs> but it wasn't what we thought it was. Um, so they, uh, Rockefeller was on a decline. Jay and Dane was going through their uh, personal shit or whatever. Did that kind of take y'all by surprise? Like, yeah, um, we got here and... Yeah, because... We heard about shit, but we never, like... If you and your man, y'all niggas going through some shit. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, I can't speak on that. Like, how the, right. who the fuck am I to come between now and try to ask the question? What you decide? You know what I mean? So we heard shit and we <clears throat> fell back. Like, we like that. Let the niggas handle they shit. You know what I mean? Okay. You see, so at that point, we couldn't. We, couldn't we, we we were uncomfortable with dealing with Jay Z and not having Dame involved. And we were uncomfortable with dealing with Dame and not having Jay Z involved. Gotcha. See, <clears throat> in my eyes, like what me and Fame have, what we have, like mm -hmm. way before the fucking rap group, way before we even. When we were, before it was even rhyming, if you want to call it that, you know what I'm saying? Like we had, we was family, we was crew. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, in my eyes, if you come up from, if you come from shit to sugar with it, with, with somebody, mm -hmm. y'all tight, y'all got a bond. So it's weird for us to see <clears throat> that Jay and Dane, after building a fucking empire together, no longer together. That ain't the kind of dudes that we are, so we had to pull back. Got you. You know what I mean? So, so, so from there, mm -hmm. you guys got the situation with Fifty Cent. Yeah. How did that come about? And then, kind of, what happened with that? Because it's it always seems like they build us up to something great yeah. with MOP, and then they <laughs> fucking let us down, like. Yo, what the fuck is going on? So what, what kind of... Fuckers. <laughs> <Bonkers. laughs> <laughs> 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 now, I think, I think, I think um, again, dog, it's, it's weird to me when I actually think about it, because mm -hmm. I, I talk about it, I say it, I say it, but I never really think about it. Again, that was another label we got to, and... 
after a few months, it seemed like it started to decline. Gotcha. You know what Did I'm you saying? guys even really have a <laughs> thought you, I mean, I know you thought you had a chance to come out, but like, once you were embedded, papers were signed, and you start to realize things wasn't the way they were, were you like trying to look for a way to get out of that situation then? Or y'all was just like, let's ride it out and see what happens? Or? Well, eventually we rolled it out. Okay. And we had a, um, we, we, we kind of like, we had a relationship with 50. Okay. We still had a relationship with 50. Shout out to 50 Cent. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, we niggas, we niggas, you know what I mean? I've been to people deal with the business. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's, it's time we speak, but it's just time when you just be niggas. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, we try to be, Niggas about the situation and, and just let it, you know what I mean? We, we we knew he was in our corner, but it's beyond 50 Cent, you know what I mean? It's, gotcha. it's, it's, it's about the people that, that's give, that's cut checks to him. Yeah. And, and him making them believe in us, you know what I mean? And after a couple losses, it's hard to keep getting the people cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So is, is this one of the, I guess, my next question is because I'm a nosy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> How do you, I, I guess, looking back at these, these, I guess, accomplishments in, in, in your career, of all the great things you did, these people want to sign you like Jay-Z and Dame, and then 50 come and say, okay, we going to take it from here. How, how, how do you feel when you look back at it now and say, like, you know, things really didn't happen the way we wanted them to, right? How does it does it bother you? That, does it make you say like, damn, I wonder if it happened, what would yeah, you know? Yeah. You got yeah. it. you always wonder. Mm-hmm. But it's like that's what makes us MOP, that's what makes us special. Mm-hmm. We some strong motherfuckers, man. Okay. Like we we've been and not only talking music, like from the like we other than that, like niggas got family problems, they got mm-hmm. like shit that that personal mm-hmm. shit that they that they go through. You know what I mean? So the music is a, like was like a, was like an outlet for us. Gotcha. And then when that shit ain't working out for you, you know what I mean? You gotta be a strong motherfucker to go through that shit, man. It's not to be in a crybaby and say, fuck him, fuck him, you know what I mean? Fuck this nigga. You know what I mean? You gotta be a strong nigga. I'll tell you what. Name me another group in the history, in the history of hip hop music. And I did my research too, so I know what the fuck he's talking about here. (laughs) Name me another group that's done it for 16 years. Not only done it for 16 years, but um, with, with the exception of uh, the, first, the first deal, every other deal was because the boss was a fan himself. So it was beyond business. Mm-hmm. Now, regardless of record sales, um, have the whole hood behind you, not just your hood, but your hood, mm-hmm. and his hood, mm-hmm. and his hood. And don't forget her hood. Her hood. Yeah. Because she hurt as well. Now, yeah. well, <laughs> no, we're talking about, we're talking about relativity, major record label, loud, major, Sony, major, Rockefeller, major, G-Unit, major, right? Mm-hmm. The music that we put out, consistent as hell. Like, maybe it came, maybe we spaced it out a little bit, but every time you got it, you knew this shit was gonna be incredible. It was gangster music, like every, every time, world, like now, real street shit, not no fucking, another, not no happy days shit, like fucking straight, right, fucking right. beast music. And that's a, <laughs> and that's another thing. How do you make beast music and make it that far? So yeah. you name me another fucking rap group. Excuse me. I'ma name it. As soon as you're done. Another <laughs> another my two artists together <laughs> that have possibly ever accomplished what MOP have accomplished. You want me to name them? Go ahead. Do you want me to name them individually or as a group? However you no, however you want. That's easy. Go ahead. M.O.P. Nah, my nigga. <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you did it for shopping. I'm good for something, huh? You know she's a motherfucker, but she did it for shopping. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he was about to get the Steve Brown Brown, he was about to get the Beaver Brown. Yeah. <laughs> but that's for real, though, my nigga. Like, think about it, uh-huh. yo. Like, no other... No other group has ever been able to do it. And I, I mean, I'm not stroking myself or whatever. I mean, I'm not on my, I, I left some room on this dick here. <laughs> Let another motherfucker 
Hold on to it, bitch. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> We've actually, dude, we are, we are fucking blessed, dude. Like, shit like this don't happen. Mm -hmm. You understand what well, this shit don't happen? Like, nigga, I mean, like, if you, if you talk to anybody from the old neighborhood, them niggas would tell you, like, them niggas were voted most likely to be in prison, dead, or et cetera. Nothing, nothing special was going to come up them niggas from that block. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So to, to come from shit to sugar is incredible. Like, and we really, we really did it too. Like, dude, we, we've been everywhere in the, in the world outside of Japan and Africa. Nobody in my neighborhood's done that.